Today we're crocheting a crap ton of bucket hats. Starting with, as per usual, the simplest, J-Hope's black bucket hat. Really wanna see how much I can crochet in one day. It is, hello, where's my watch? 9 a.m. right now, Lego. First things first, we need to make a circle. This hat is, why is this tangled? This hat is in single crochet, so usually when you do single crochet, you will crochet three single crochet into a magic circle. Did I say three? Six single crochet into a magic circle. Once you have the six, pull your magic circle close and mark your last stitch. I just use bobby pins because I don't have stitch markers. And then you just follow the typical circle pattern, which means for the next row, you'll increase in every stitch. The following row, increase every other stitch, then every third stitch, then every fourth stitch, and so on and so forth until you reach your desired diameter. And in order to know that, I'm just looking at this hat sizing chart guide from crochetforyoublog.com and she said that you take an inch off of your head circumference so my head is 22 inches got a big brain actually no apparently that's medium so i guess i would go for well it says large i don't know the one that says 21 inches medium so i need my width to be 6.75 so i will do my rows until this circle is 6.75 inches then I'll meet you back here. Oh, also I'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook and wait for a yarn. Today's K-drama is Startup, which I am re-watching because I refuse to watch the last two episodes the first time I watched it because it got depressing. Like every freaking K-drama and I couldn't handle it back then because that's when I just started watching them. But I love it even more this time because now I'm into TXT and like Namju Hyuk looks like, or Subin looks like him. He was born first, give him the rights. And also this guy, I shouldn't be calling him this guy. I don't know his name. This actor reminds me so much of Yeon Jun Chu, and I don't know if it's his looks or his like mannerisms or what. So it's like Subin and Yeon Jun acting together, and it's so funny. Anyway, that's my Delulu moment for today. We're going back to crocheting now. So I finished my circle. It's about seven inches across. Usually for bucket hats, you'd go in the back loop only for the next round so that it like folds down, has like a flattish top. But since this one just goes like, like, <laughs> like it stays round together. I'm just gonna start doing single crochet all the way around, no increases for the next bajillion rows until we get to the length that we want before it starts kind of going out a little bit. All right, so I did those rounds just to like the top of my ear. Now we're gonna start going out. And again, usually for bucket hats, you would do this the like brim in the front loops only so that it'll like fold out the way. But again, this is all one. I'm worried that I'm starting this too soon because this looks tiny. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just winging this. For the brim, when it starts to go out, you basically continue from your circle. So I finished my circle on a 15 single crochet one increase round, which means for this next row, when I'm starting to increase again, I'm going to do 16 single crochet one increase. 16, one increase, 16, one increase, etc. And then you alternate rows usually because this one doesn't go out that much. I might do, I don't know, this is gonna be trial and error, but we're gonna do an increase row and then a non-increase row, just single crochet all the way around. And then you go to the next one. So I'm doing 16 increase, a non-increase row, 17 increase, non-increase row. If that increases it too much and it goes out too much, then I'm gonna have to do maybe an increase row, two non-increase rows, and then an increase row. So far it's looking pretty good with the alternating increase, non-increase, increase, non-increase. So I'm just gonna continue doing that. Also, I reached my exercise goal from crocheting for a couple hours. That's, wow. And I'm done. <laughs> I'll slip stitch it and then fasten off. <laughs> I wanted to do a bunch of these in one day, but this, <laughs> it's 12.13. It's been like three and a quarter hours of making this. I didn't even stop. I went to the washroom like twice and that's it. Guess it's lunchtime now, but I'm gonna try to make one before I eat. This next one, I think is gonna be a lot faster. It's this Prada hat. Trey Fancy. Actually, I clicked on one of the things on Pinterest and it literally 
said like it was over a thousand dollars which like i can make this in like freaking i'm hoping this one takes less than two hours we'll see i overestimated myself but this one is double crochet which is why i think it'll take a lot less time in a magic ring we're gonna chain two or three you double crochet 12 in the magic ring i'm using this cool pink color for it instead of the gray because we just did a black hat and that's boring i'm gonna count the chain as a double crochet and then it's the same as the last one you just pull it closed you get a stitch marker i'm still using 3.75 millimeter millimeter hook and a four weight yarn the only thing that's different about this is you're going to be chaining and slip stitching because it's obviously the height difference is a lot more so you slip stitch to the first chain top of the first chain and then you're going to do two or three more chains depending on your preference i'm sweating <laughs> until i get to seven inches again and then we'll go from there when you get to the end of the row you just slip stitch into the chain that you did into the top of the chain there and then you chain your two or three or whatever ah this was so much faster also i shouldn't have said about needing you don't need a stitch counter for this one because it's obvious when you get to the end of the row obviously um anyway i this Wow, I'm so much happier doing this one. <laughs> this time we're gonna be working in the back loops only. because It's just that type of hat. And to get this chain-like stitch pattern, ah, we are going to do our two chains, three chains, whatever. So this is our first double crochet. Then we're gonna chain one more. Then we're gonna skip this next one and then double crochet in the back loops only. I should show you properly. So we have our three chain and then an extra chain. Then we're gonna skip this stitch, double crochet in the back loop only of this next stitch, like so. Then we're gonna chain again, skip this stitch, go into the back loop only of this stitch. And ta-da, that is our stitch pattern. We chain, skip a stitch, go in the back loop of the next stitch and we're only working in the back loops for this first row so that it'll like fold over like this i'm at the end of the row now and i'm just going to slip stitch to this third chain here because that's technically the top of our double crochet and then we're just gonna do the exact same thing we're going to chain as our first double crochet an extra chain to skip the stitch double crochet in each double crochet that already exists chaining then skipping the chain making this little mesh thing looks great if i do say so myself we're going to do one row before we start increasing of just double crochet all the way around because that's what they do here oh and i didn't do the like triangle thing that's on the prada hat because i don't have a logo or anything to put there i'm not gonna like stitch in Prada. Also, I don't think I have the skills to do that yet because that's like single crochet within these and I don't really know. Like I could put a, a triangle on top of this. That would be easy, but for this regular double crochet row, we are going into every single stitch. Chains included, which is annoying, but must be done. Now it's time to make the brim of the hat. This time, this row is going to be in the front loops only because we want it to fold out this way. And I need to remember what row I was on for the circle. I believe I finished on four double crochet one increase row so now i will be doing the five double crochet one increase row and then one non-increase row and then six double crochet increase and then probably another non-increase row and we'll see how tall that's probably gonna be enough up there do i look rich in my prada hat it is 150 <laughs> why did i start this 12 15 so this took me like math <laughs> i can do math an hour and a half, a little over an hour and a half. An hour and a half, this took me. It is now 2.45 and we are making our next hat. I love this hat, by the way, it's so cute. Our next hat is an orange hat. It's so cute and I don't know who this guy is, but he is the cutest too. I don't have like a nice bright orange color. This is my closest, so maybe it'll end up looking more like a pumpkin, which is cool too. Tis the season. I'm gonna double up on the yarn this time so that I can use a bigger hook. I'm gonna use a 5.5 millimeter hook just because we're going a lot slower than I had intended. I'm also gonna do a half double crochet for this hat. So we're gonna do 
10, I believe, 10 half double crochet in our little magic ring here. I lied, I'm actually gonna use a 6.5 millimeter hook because the smaller one was too hard to handle and this will take less time, so yay. Also, I think I'm just gonna treat this like a single crochet circle, not the, like I'm not gonna chain at all and I'm just gonna use a stitch marker. This is now 6.75 inches across, so I'm going to start my non-increased rows and it's like the first hat that we did. We're not wanting it to be flat, like, like this we're wanting it to be continuous <laughs> sorry i'm digesting we're wanting it to be continuous so we're not gonna do in the back loops only we're gonna do through both loops and just do like a crap ton of rows because this is like a really high hat hi hat i think this is gonna end up being quite a bit too big so i think i'm gonna go back and take out one of my increased rows but it's so cushy it's so nice off. Went all the way back and now we're down to like five and a half inches but if you can see it's kind of floppy and once it gets floppy you know you've increased too much and it's not that I made a mistake in the circle pattern it's just because when you use a chunky yarn this always happens to me when I use chunky yarn meaning that it'll kind of increase or end up being bigger as I do the non-increase rows which is annoying but it's whatever and I don't mind it being a tighter fit. The first one I made was a bit loose. This is already so freaking cute. Now we're gonna start doing the increase rows. So it's the same as the other ones. I'm going to start from where I left off on my circle. So I did a two half double crochet, one increase row. So I'm gonna start back on the three single crochet increase row. And I believe, oh, it looks like I will be doing the first row of the brim in the front loops only so that it comes out a bit more. So I'll do the three half double crochet increase and then the next round I will do a non-increase round and then the four double crochet increase and non-increase etc etc until it gets to my desired length. I already made this one longer than the other ones. It's coming over my ear before I start the brim just because in the pictures they're like wearing it like this. All right, let's give her a whirl. Ah, I'm doing stitches. Oh, it's too much. So funny. Is it too big? I don't know. It'll be cute though, it's fine. So it's 4, 11 p.m., which means this took me an hour and 25 minutes, but I still need to do my little leafy part on the top. But believe it or not, I have other plans right now, so I'll come back to that in a momento. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I should do the little strap too. Also, I can make it into a little top hat. <laughs> I made this adorable little leafy leaf to go on it and I need to make a second one so I'll show you how I did it. So using two strands of this green and the same hook as I used for the hat which is a 6.5 millimeter. In a magic ring I single crocheted, oh so confusing with multiple strings, single crochet, half double crochet, then double crochet and then the same on the way back we go half double crochet and single crochet and then we pull this closed lies you slip stitch in here first i think and then for the second round we'll do two single crochets in this first stitch two half double crochets in this next stitch two double crochets in this next stitch then the same on the way back two half double crochets two single crochets and then just slip stitch back into this slip stitch that gives us a nice fat leaf and then i just did two half double crochets in here just to make like a little bit of a stem Ta -da! and then you fasten off leaving a tail to sew it. i decided that i definitely want a strap because that is so adorable theirs is like actual material so i'm just gonna do a chain just single stranded with my 3.75 millimeter hook actually so i don't have to sew i'm just going to attach it right on the loops where like the brim goes out you know how we did in the front loops well now these are the back loops i'll just attach it there so adorable and then we'll chain a bunch i'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and we'll just have two straps that you can tie in the middle i was gonna single crochet up the chain but i think just the chain is cuter and that's less work too so it's a win-win <laughs> <laughs> this is so freaking cute Though I think it would have been cuter if I didn't do it like super long like theirs. Like, I don't know why I did that because I don't even like how like weirdly shaped theirs are, but it's whatever. This is adorable. <laughs> Look like a child. I love my leaves. I feel like mine's slightly cuter, but unfortunately my face will never be as cute as this kid's. <sighs> I hate that I can't see the leaves when I'm wearing it. 
It is 4.47, which means that that took almost two hours as well. I didn't actually go to anything. <laughs> Get stood up by my nephew, it's whatever. I'm going to go take a shower now and I'll maybe be able to fit in one more hat before I go to Betty Buys. I know who this guy is. <laughs> oh, that's hard to say. Hello? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it is 5.45. We are on to our last hat of the day, but not the last hat of the video. Remember, we're doing a crap ton. By no means is for a crap ton, in my opinion. So we've got white. We've got black and we're doing Hyunjin's hat. That is his name. Yes. I am actually, I like straight kids. Don't come for me. So this time I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. I'm still using my f f what? And I'm using just a single strand this time because we need the stripes to be the proper. We're using single crochet. I am starting with black. Yes. Yeah, I'll start with blacks. Why not? in a magic ring. We're doing single crochets, so we're doing six single crochet in a magic ring. This is basically going to be the same as J-Hope's hat, but different as per usual. It's the same in that there is no back loop, front loop rows at all. It's all just one fell swoop. One, I'm using black black, so it's hard to see. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. The only thing is we're doing two rows at a time. We're doing stripes and since we're working in the round stripes can turn into swirls, but we can't we can't let it <laughs> It's our job to stop that. So basically we're gonna end up with a seam, but look it's okay Because Hyunjin has a seam in his too. Even whoever the freak famous brand that makes these hats also cannot work around this. What I'm guessing is the only way to not make the striped swirls is to slip stitch every row and start anew. You'll see what I mean here. So we have our first row. I don't have to slip stitch. Or do I have to slip stitch every row? Or just the... I've never done this before. I did my increase round right now on my last single crochet is when I'm going to switch to my white. So we'll switch to the white in the last stitch but then what do we do so it doesn't swirl or will this work no we're just we're testing it out okay no because then that's am i gonna have to chain that would be weird if I chain. i'm gonna see how this goes and i'll get back to you <laughs> kindly ignore everything i just said <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. It doesn't swirl when you just like do it like normal. It makes this line that Hyunjin has, which means they didn't do anything. Cause see the first two stripes, I like did the slip stitching. So it's less obvious like the part. And then I stopped because I realized this is, yeah, just doing it like normal is what makes that line. So if that whatever brand didn't do the extra work, I'm not either. This makes it more authentic too, so yay. Also, it's a good thing I looked at the picture again because it turns out it's three rows of black, two rows of white, and I almost did not do that. Also, I don't know why I keep looking at this and being like, it looks nothing alike, but like it is, it is black and white. It's black and white. What's the difference? I don't know. Do you see a difference? I am now at like six and a half and all my hats keep turning out too big. This is the first one that like fits me snugly. So I'm gonna go more on the smaller side for this one as well. And like I said before, we're just doing the single crochet around no increase without going in the back loops only, going through both loops. Oh, also I finished watching Startup and it is not as depressing as I remember. I feel like I was just too emotionally attached and I was totally team Ji Pyeong the first time I watched it and now I'm really into Namju Hyuk, so a bit different and the ending was satisfying, not depressing like some, so that was nice. I am now watching Miraculous Brothers simply because that was what came up as a recommendation as soon as I finish watching Startup. On to the next. Also, I've just been carrying the yarn up like this just because it's easy. <laughs> So like I'm done with the black now, so I'm just gonna leave it there and, and then come back for it later. Saves me time. And no one's gonna see the inside of the hat, so here we are so far. For some reason, I don't know. Like Hyunjin just looks like good, like classy, like and mine just looks crappy to me for some reason. Like it's just it's not the same. Why is it not the same? What is different? I cannot tell. Maybe it's him. Maybe it's because he's wearing it. 
No, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna start my increasing rows now and I'm gonna do one increased row, two non-increased rows because it doesn't go out much at all. My last row on my increase for my circle was nine increase. So now I'm gonna do 10 increase and then two non-increase rows and then 10 increase, two non-increase rows until and hopefully I end up finishing on the black with it being as long as it's. If not, I'll probably just add another one or two rows of black. It is not long enough. <laughs> and it still doesn't look classy like his. Maybe it's a type of yarn that's used that's different. I don't know. Mm. How far down does this go? Well, I mean, it's not that far off. I'm just gonna do one more row then. And we'll be good. <laughs> I think it looks good. Not as good as Hyunjin's, but whatever. It is 7.36, which means, when did I start doing this? 5.45. So almost two hours to make this. It's not too bad for single crochet. Technically, I probably maybe could do one more, but I don't know. I haven't even separated it, so I'm gonna do that now and see how I feel after slash what time it is after. Because my bedtime is nine. Well, I go to sleep at 8, but like, or I go to sleep at 10. What am I saying? Okay, I like it. <laughs> okay, I have time for at least half of another hat. So we're doing Taehyung's. I know that all of them are guys so far, but apparently guys wear simpler hats than girls. And I'm putting off the more complicated ones. So I'm gonna be using these yarns. I'm using black knot. I think it's navy, but it could be the editing of the photo. I don't know. Just cause these, I wanna use this white and this black is the same thickness as this white. They're a bit thinner than like the craft yarns. They're still weight four, but I think thinner is better and a smaller hook is better. I'm using 3.75 because it's gonna have like the little triangle pattern on it, which means this is gonna take forever like J-Hopes did because it's gonna be basically the same thing as J-Hopes, but with a grid pattern in the middle. Woo! We're gonna start in white, obviously. We're doing single crochet, so we'll do six single crochet in the magic ring and make our six inch or whatever circle from there. This hat fits like perfectly. I like this. Could maybe even go down a little bit more. Save even more time. Yes, please. This time I'm trying six inches. I think I can get away with six inches. These like stretch after a while. Like this is getting too big for me after wearing it for like a little while so we'll try that and then i made a little grid here for the pattern just because like like you can i counted it from here and like you could just go off of this but it'll just be easier less confusing if i just follow this so now i'm going to do my single crochet non-increase rows and this is another one that we don't do in back loops or front loops it's just through both loops. And I guess I'll just crochet until it gets to like that point on my head. Are you ready for another marvelous day of bucket hats? Am I? I'm slightly ahead of schedule. I believe I started at like nine the other day and now I am starting at 8.36. Look at me, early riser. I got washed and dressed and ate and did an audition and I have nothing left on my schedule today except for bucket hats. Unless my nephew does not stand me up this time and does want to play video games, in which case I have one other thing on my schedule, but this is as far as I got on Taehyung's hat. Taehyung's, so I used to sing Taehyung now. I got to the point where I'm gonna start putting the little pixels, little, little triangles in. And I was gonna use black, but then I remembered that I also have green in this yarn. So I'm gonna look for that. I couldn't find any, that was a waste of time, but I did find my, I think this was supposed to be the shoe from my, my chat GPT video. <laughs> so I'm going to use this yarn. It should be enough, I don't see why not. Oh, hello. First round, over. That takes way freaking longer than just the regular rounds. So basically it's three stitches in between each colored stitch because that is what our pattern is. And then since I didn't even count to make sure that this pattern would make sense in the number of stitches that I have, we're gonna have, a, a, this is the last, Triangle is not going to be proper, but I'm pretty sure Taehyung's isn't either. Okay, so it's fine. I guess I should explain grid patterns for those of you who don't. <laughs> the girls who get it, get it. Each square 
is a stitch. Thank you. Like, yeah, you usually work from the bottom up, but since I made this this way, I'm just gonna go like this. And they're triangles, so it's super simple. So like I did the three white in between, and next time I'm gonna do the two white in between. Super simple. Just takes for freaking ever. Plus, another thing that's been wasting my time today is I keep refreshing this because I'm getting so close. So close! Even more exciting, that means I'll be able to earn money soon, JK, cause um frick, where's my where's my watch hours? <sighs> Gotta start making more videos. I don't think that's possible. I'm literally spending every waking hour crocheting or editing. <laughs> Life is good! <laughs> no it is, I'm happy. I finished my first row of triangles and then my four white rows. And now, I think for the next row, I'm gonna do an increase row because it looks like it's already starting to curve out a little bit by the time it gets to the second triangles. This is automatically kind of curving out a little bit because when I do the color switching, I accidentally tighten my stitches. So I'm gonna have to be careful of that in the next row. So for this next green row, I'm gonna do an increase row and I cannot remember what my last increase row was. It might have been 13. Maybe it was 12. I'll do a 13 increase row and see what happens. <laughs> Since I did that increase row, I couldn't just do the triangles the same. So like every third triangle, I had to add a stitch. So at first I was adding an extra white stitch, but then I was like, maybe that's too obvious. So then I added an extra green stitch after that. And I would say every three triangles. It's just to keep the upside down triangles lined up with the right side up triangles. And I just kind of won that. So the plain green one was my increase row. This second row of the upside down triangles, I didn't increase. And I think I'm gonna do one more without increasing again. We are on the last row of the upside down triangles and I'm gonna be doing another increase row now. So we're doing 14 stitches, one increase. But if the increase lands on a green, I'm just gonna increase in the next white. So it so that I increase in the white stitch, because if I increase in the green stitch, then it's two green stitches, and that's not a point of a triangle. Ah, it looks so cute. So I'm done with the triangles, thank goodness. It is freaking 10.30. <sighs> Now I'm going to do alternating rows of increase row, non-increase row for the last little bit. So this last triangle row was an increase row. So I'm gonna do non-increase, increase, non-increase, increase until it gets to where I want it to be. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Why wasn't I expecting it to look good? <laughs> nice. It is 11.30, so we're running a bit behind, but I feel like I've become a bucket hat master at this point. So maybe we can finish the rest today. It depends how motivated I am because I I don't know. I'm, I'm just ready to burn out at this point because this is literally my life now. Oh, but look, it keeps going up. I just ate lunch and now it is 12 o'clock and that means it's Karina time. I'm doing the hat in purple and white. This is, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna make this one. I don't know because I feel like you'd have to do all the maths, but I don't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> also, I have no idea what's going on on the top of Karina's. My thought would be like, you start out and then obviously it has to be like kind of triangles at first on the top and then go into the checks because that just makes sense. She has all sorts of random freaking shapes on the top of her hat. I don't know what that is. And since I cannot see the top of her hat, I'm just gonna ignore it. Which should we start in? Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna start in white. We are doing single crochets again and I'm going to use, I have so many hooks everywhere. I think I'm gonna use a five millimeter hook because it's purple and it matches this. <laughs> we will start with a magic ring as per usual. We're doing single crochet, so that means, hello? Six single crochet in a magic ring. For this, we're gonna do it all in the same color just because mostly because I'm lazy. I am currently using my noggin power to figure out how many times to change color because how many times we change color in this next one is gonna determine how many squares we have 
But when I'm counting Karina's squares, the ones I can see is five, which means she probably has like eight squares or 10. I'm guessing she has like 10 squares, but we started this with six. So if I double that, then that's 12. Should we do it with 12 squares? It's gonna be even more checked than hers. I don't know. <sighs> I finished the first round, the increase in every stitch round. I switch colors every single stitch and this looks like a candy. I just wanna... But the only thing is, is increasing is gonna be really weird. So for the first round, the only stitches that are gonna be increased is gonna be the purple. And then the second round is gonna be even more complicated because it's just gonna be... I don't even know. This is an experiment. This is... <sighs> Challenge accepted. For my one increase row, I did... I don't know what I'm doing. I just did two and then color changed. No matter what the increase was, no matter what color I was going into, I just did two color change, which was very confusing. And it doesn't look, it looks cool. It does, but it's not gonna turn into checks. And I think I'm confusing myself more than anything, but I think I'll continue like this and the top will just look cool and I'll figure out the freaking checks as soon as I can. I did this row the exact same. I'm just switching color again, every two stitches, no matter what, still looking cool. Still not enough checks. I'm just gonna continue to do this until I have like enough checks around. I don't really know what I'm doing. Still winging it. For my four increase row, I switched to doing three stitches in each color. Still looks cool, still don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I'll be able to do the proper checks until I stop my increase rows. In the five increase row, I decided to do the same color in the same color, which ended up with me increasing every time in the purple spaces. So hopefully it's the opposite this time. I don't know, math. So it ended up increasing in the purple again for the six increase row, but I just crocheted an extra white stitch into each of the purple because I was increasing in the purple anyway. So now I have four stitches in each color, which is perfect. Like, thank you. I'm gonna continue to do this way, trying to keep even an amount of each color until I get to my six inches. <laughs> now six inches. These little weird things were getting a bit long, so I decided to switch colors and make my first or second checks. <laughs> So now I'm gonna start doing my non-increasing row. This little peak is bothering me so much. I don't know why it's like that. It'll be fine once I put it on. It looks so good already. I love these colors. I'm just gonna do my non-increasing rows and I'll switch colors every time the checks look square. Now that it's just about to my ears, I'm gonna start increasing. And yes, it's slanted a little bit. It's fine. I'm gonna do every other row. And I forgot to say, this is like all the other ones that there's no front loop, back loops. It's all just together. This sticks up. Stop it. And another one bites the dust. It's 4.30. I'm not going at the same pace as the other day. I am getting discouraged. I am tired. I shouldn't have done all the easy ones first. I should have spaced it out a little bit. I still have two or three more hats to make though. I'll probably make two of them tonight. Yeah. When increasing for the brim, I just tried to like keep it even, you know? So I increased a little wonkily, but it's fine. It is 5.20. I just took a shower. I wish I could say that I'm feeling refreshed, but um, I don't know why I do this to myself. We're making a strawberry. Just like when we made the orange, we're gonna double up on our yarn because I do not wanna spend 50 bajillion hours on this hat because I've spent all day on basically one hat and I can't, I can't. But we're going even bigger than the orange one because I have an eight millimeter hook that I'm gonna use because the orange one was still pretty, like, I don't know. I think I can get away with bigger. And if I can, I'll even try to get away with this 10 millimeter one. This hat is going to take seconds. That's what I'm gonna tell myself so I can actually start without having a mental breakdown. Emotional support, buddy. <sighs> I'm gonna try the 10 millimeter first and see if that works. If it's not too holy. We're doing single crochet, so we're gonna be doing six single crochet into our magic ring. Ah, 
This is difficult already. Okay. I think it's gonna be fine with the 10 millimeter. I wish I had a bigger one. Okay, I think the time spent looking for the bigger one would override the time saved by using the bigger one. Whatever, we'll do it this way. Got my six single crochet, got my bobby pin as a stitch marker, and now we're gonna make a six inch circle. <laughs> Strawberry. It's still under six inches, but when I did the orange, I ended up having to go back and take out an increase row. So I'm just gonna leave it small and start increasing from here, or start non-increasing from here. This one is the same as the orange. There's no back loops, only round for the top of it. And we're starting our non-increase rows through both loops, like this half. Oh yeah, it is very tiny, but it's gonna stretch. And it is pretty holy too, but I kinda like that. It does look strawberry-y or raspberry-y. So now I'm gonna start my increasing rows and I'm gonna be doing it in the front loop only so that it folds up this way. Also, since the picture, it's very like curvy, which means I'm going to do increasing every single row to get it more like floppy floppy. And like the other hats, I'm starting from my last increase row. It looks super cute until I put it on because I made it too small. So it just like stretches out all the frilly bits or it just looks weird, but it's whatever. It's so cute. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> looks more like a mushroom. You stretch this out. Quickly. So now I guess, well, parts I don't want to do is the freaking seeds and the- Well, I can't see what's on the top of her head from this photo, but I'm assuming there's like a little leafy thing. It's whatever. Oh, and I lied. You have to increase more for it to get all floppy like this. I did two rows of the one increase and then two rows of just not increase to make it longer. For the little leafy thing, I'm using a five millimeter hook and chain four, and I'm gonna slip stitch to the first chain to make a little loopy loop. In said loopy loop, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, slip stitch. Ah, no. I'm gonna do that as many times as I can in here to make these little leafy things. I fit five in there and it's okay that there's a hole there because I'm gonna stick the stem in that later. For the second round to make it bigger like this, I am doing two single crochets in our previous single crochet stitch and then in the top stitch we're gonna double crochet, triple crochet, and then double crochet again all in the same stitch there and then two single crochets in the next stitch and then a slip stitch in there as well and so on and so forth until you have this cute little floppy leaf thingy oh my goodness <laughs> for the stem i just crocheted six single crochet into a magic loop using a 3.75 millimeter hook and although it's gonna be pretty annoying i'm just going to single crochet not increasing in these loops here just to make a long tube that shall be our stem and there we have it, a little tiny stem for a little tiny leaves for a little tiny strawberry. Ah, it's so cute. Technically, you could stuff this, but it stays pretty circular anyway. Now I'm just gonna stitch some seeds in there with this yellow yarn. Just little stitches like this randomly all over the place and then just travel my yarn through back here so that you can't see. Here we are. Did the hat take seconds? No, it is 820. This doesn't fit me. <laughs> it's too small. And let's just pretend that I did the stitches on the, the entire hat. Also, I've been wearing all the hats as I complete the next hat. Um, I'm I'm not gonna wear this one. It's not even. So take a good, long, hard look at it now, because this is all you get. If I hadn't have been so stingy on my yarn, this could have been cute. I will give it to a child. I stretched it, now it's ugly. I just finished my first granny square for this next hat. Oh, the color looks so cool on the screen. This is not how the color looks in real life. What's going on? Hello? I'm confused. I think it's pretty close. Right now it is past my bedtime. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Chokes, I'm not going to sleep. I'm gonna edit. I love editing so much. Don't crochet past your bedtime. Lessons I am learning because in what world would this be the right size? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> 
I was zoomed in so much that I was like, mm hmm, yep, that's a triple crochet. This is a quadruple crochet. But it's fine, because now I have the idea. I have a prototype, though already I had an idea and prototype because of the picture, but it's fine. It's fine. And although it is fine, I am now going to rip this all out so that I can use my starting little thing because I believe this was right. I kind of wish I didn't unravel that last one. Now I can't compare it. Is this even that much smaller? I don't know. I feel like this will be perfect though. We'll see. And I think I've got the pattern down, so I will show you that now. Little transition for you. Stepping up my game. Subscribe. First of all, this is a lot. It is a lot. My arm hurts from doing this square. In a magic ring. Double crochet. 16. Yes, that's right, 16. The next row are these little clusters here, and they are double crochet clusters as well. So in every single one of these stitches, we're changing our color now. That's attached to my square. <laughs> so we shall attach it. I like to attach right next to the string so I can work over it and not even ends. Chain two or three if you like to chain three for your double crochets. I'm counting this as a double crochet. We're doing clusters of three for this one. We're gonna do our double crochet, another one in the same stitch, but we're not gonna pull through the last time there, and another one. Same thing, we're only pulling through the first two and then leaving it. So we have three loops on our hook, and then we'll pull through all three of them. Then we'll chain one just so that everything doesn't end up too tight. And then we'll do the same thing in the next stitch, only we don't have the chain this time. So we're going to do double crochet, only pulling through once. So we have two loops on the hook, another double crochet. So we have three and then one more. So that we'll have four loops on our hook, then pull through all, then chain one. And we're gonna continue doing that, working the clusters in every single stitch around. And when we're finished that, we can just slip stitch to the top of our chain here and fasten off this color. Also, I should mention that since it's so many stitches in here, it's kind of hard to close the circle. And that's okay. Also, it gets floppy. And I'm gonna say that's also okay, because that's what I've been telling myself. Now, it is time to do the next row. What is the next row? The big fat leaves petals. So we're switching back to green. Slip knot. I said it right for once. This row is gonna be triple crochets. Three chains. And then it's the same as our double crochet clusters. We're not finishing them off, but this time we're doing four of the triple crochets. This chain's gonna count as a triple crochet, and then this is our second triple crochet. We're gonna go through one time, two times, and then leave the last. I like to count when I do this so I don't fail. <laughs> so I go one, two, pull through, one, two, pulling through two loops at once there. And so on and so forth. So we'll do our fourth one in there. Now we have four on our hook and we have a little messed up piece here that we are going to ignore. Pull through all of those. Now we have to do corners in this one. So every four, I'm gonna do a corner. I'm gonna do one now so I don't forget because I always forget and then I have to go back and do it. We're gonna chain one, two, three for a corner. Do another cluster in the next stitch. You have two on the hook after your first one. You have three on the hook after your second one, four on your hook, you're gonna do one more. You're gonna have five on your hook for your last triple crochet, then you're gonna pull through all four. Then I'm just gonna do two chains for when it's not a corner. Now remember to chain three every four stitches or every four clusters. So like this one, I have a chain two, so I have a big space here, and then one, two, three, four, another chain space, one, two, three, four, another chain space. This is just to start making it square. For the last row, I joined in in the space before the corner here, a chain two, because we're gonna be doing three double crochets in here, like normal, pulling all the way through. So that's two, because I'm counting the chain as one. Three normal double crochets. Then without chaining or anything, we're gonna do three triple crochets in the corner space, pulling all the way through again, just normal triple crochets. And since it's a corner, we're gonna chain two or three. I've been chaining three, I think. And then we're gonna do another three in the corner space, three triple crochets. 
this. Then we're doing another three double crochets in the one next to the corner. So three double crochets there. And then in this middle space here, we do four double crochets for some reason. And then three in the next spot again. And then we're back to another corner. So we do the three triple crochets, two chain, three triple crochets on the space. And so on and so forth. You make five of these, one for the top and four for the sides. This is taking forever. Also, I seen this online for like 70 bucks. It's not a thousand, but that's still a lot. So now we use the same color that we use for the flower for stitching these together. And our like seam, our crochet is gonna be on the, the right side. So we're gonna do it with our two wrong sides facing each other and then just crochet in every single stitch along here. Also, this has some little extra bits on the corners of the bottom of these squares, I guess just to add extra width, but I feel like these are already gonna be too big, so I'm not gonna do that. Plus that's extra work and I never wanna make another hat again after this already so just like so and then i'm just gonna keep crocheting the four together and then the one on top like so also i am now once again obsessed with kim sono i know his name now it's getting serious he is quite a bit older than me but it's fine tis now a beautiful box i also realized that you have to single crochet along the bottom of all this in the same color now i'm going to attach purple for the let's actually see what this looks like oh my gosh it's big ah ha ha it's fine maybe i don't know maybe it's made with a smaller hook and a smaller yarn size but it's whatever it's not that much bigger <laughs> <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I look like a freaking granny in Little Red Riding Hood. That's what this is giving. So I did three rows of double crochet in this color. The first row I increased in every single stitch, which is why it's so freaking like frilly. I should have done every other stitch, but it is what it is. The second two rows no increase. I have one more row, final row to do, and maybe that'll take a little bit more of the frill out. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> it looks fine if you look at it from top like this. <laughs> Yeah. Last row is in the other color, so in green. No increase, because this does not need any payoffs. I can't. Stay fini. <laughs> ah. To be fair, I look like a flower or a granny, or I don't even freaking know. Actually, if this was smaller, it would be perfect. It's just that it's too big. If you have a huge head, hit me up. Uh, I got a hat for you. Yeah, look, see, cause it looks perfect when it's not on, but then it's just like humongous. I guess I would make it with a smaller hook and lighter yarn. Anyway, I cannot believe we made all these. Like, I'm, wow, I'm amazing. But for real, I never ever want to make another hat again in my life. Except for Felix's hat, I really want to make that one. But bucket hats, done. <laughs>